Hello there, welcome to my bench. And in this tutorial, I'm going to tie up a caddis pattern, a simple caddis pattern. It's just it's called the uh, Colorado King. Very easy pattern, and but uh, effective as well. So I figured I'd give this guy a tie for you this time. So we'll get him out of the vise here and a fresh hook in, and I'll get going for you. The hook I'm tying him on a must had 94840 on a size 12. So we'll get that locked in the vise here. Just like so. And for thread I'm using Vivas 14 hot black. I'll let you want to try to use a fi nice fine thread for this fly. So we'll start just behind the eye about hook eye length here and we'll wrap back to the bend of our hook here. Wrap that back. And we'll snip off our tag end of thread here. Okay. Now the first step is before I attach the tail, I'm going to uh, I want a little dubbing ball so we can keep it. That's the purpose is to keep the tail splayed apart, and the body is yellow dubbing. So I'm going to uh, put some wax on the thread here, and just form a small, short, skinny noodle here for that dubbing ball. And we'll dub that on the thread here. Slide that up, just like so. And we'll wrap that on. Okay, there we go, that's fine, and a few wraps ahead of that. Now the tail, it's just two strands of moose body here, and the reason for the dubbing ball, you tie one on each, it'll keep those tails splayed apart for you, you tie one on each side so they're, stay splayed out, so, I'll get those tied in here, one on each side. You can make a couple wraps first in the length. Before I forget, the length you want a little bit longer than the hook shank length. So, and I'm just going to slide this one down the side a little, and that one as well. Just adjust them and then wrap back to get right up against the uh, dubbing ball. Here's what you want, just like so. There we go. And a few wraps forward, then we'll come in, snip off these tag ends of the moose mate body hair, like so. Okay, now our next step is to wrap in our rib, which is grizzly hackle. And I have some uh, grizzly saddle hackle here. And I got it prepared, I got some stem exposed there to tie in, so you want to tie that in right in front of the dubbing ball. Just like so here, wrap right back. There we go, I'm going to tie that stem down, nice and secure. Okay. Now we're going to dub the rest of our body, so some more wax on the thread. And we'll dub ourselves another noodle here with the yellow dubbing. Just keep it nice and slender, not too overly thick. And a little bit more here. Okay, slide that up and see where that brings us on the hook shank here. A couple wraps back first, like so, and then we're going to move forward. Just like so here. Okay, and we're going to need some more. Trim off a few of them guard ears, but you can leave them all in if you want. Okay, a little more wax on the thread. A little more dub and this should do it up for us this time another small section okay begin to wrap that just like so and there we go okay next steps take that saddle hackle we're gonna just do evenly spaced wraps palmer that up first wrap right in front of the tail and just wrap it up Try to keep your wraps spaces even apart if you can, but and then once you get up to where you want to tie off, we'll tie this guy off like so. Come around with a couple wraps and a couple in front. Lock that guy in really good here. Secure wraps. A couple more. That should be fine. And I'm gonna come in and snip off the excess. 
just like so here okay a couple stray fibers there I want to snip out okay another one there okay I'll just tidy that up a little here before we attach our wing okay so our wing is elk here and I got a small bunch in the uh, stacker here those evened up the tips and you don't want an overly thick wing but I'd say it's approximately hook gap width three quarters of the hook gap okay you want to bring your wing on top and you want that wing to come back about just past the bend aways so we're going to come up with a couple wraps on that there a couple soft wraps and then pull down and a couple more back and a couple more and then I'm going to take the uh, thread and I'm going to pull up on those butt ends make one wrap pull up again another wrap just keep doing that until you secure all those butt ends down good and then make a couple wraps in front then come in with your scissors and snip those nice and close because they're going to be all covered up with thread this time unlike you would a caddis we're going to cover these all up on an elk hair caddis I mean okay just trim those nice and close as so you can get them okay now all we got left to do is take our thread make several wraps we're going to start right behind the eye here and work up start covering up all these butt ends here to form our head just like so that's why you want to use a fine thread on this fly if you can you can make several wraps without getting too much bulk and that should be fine right there okay so all that's left to do is our whip finish I'll bring in my whip finisher here four or five turn whip finish and he's good to go just like so Okay, snug that down good. I'm going to come in, snip off my excess here. And there's another size 12 Colorado King Caddis. And one more step is a coat of hit cement on those thread wraps. Just like so, work it around there. There we go. Let that soak in good. And there she be. Like I was saying, a simple caddis pattern, but it's an effective fly. So, like always, I want to thank you so much for watching my tutorials. I appreciate it a lot. And uh, hopefully you can give this guy a tie and a try. And if you'd like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And throw in a like too if you wish. So, until next time, happy tying everyone. And we shall see you again soon. So long for now, folks.